Can you tell where I am? All right, now you can see. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lindsay, and in today's video, I'm gonna be taking you shopping. My friends, I'm very excited to report I'm back at one of your all-time favorite stores, Ikea. I've got a short list of things that I'm looking for. I need a curtain rod for one of my makeovers. I have some more curtains to buy because I'm always looking to lush things up by doubling or even tripling the number of panels that you might expect. I'm in a very busy spot in the parking lot. The two cars just pulled in right on either side of me. And as you can see, there's a bunch of shoppers. So clearly that will not stop me from filming, making an idiot out of myself and getting that footage for you. What's new at Ikea for January, 2021. I'm just excited to stroll around, take you with, see what we can find. Before we head inside, if you like videos like this, hit the like button. If you love videos like this, subscribe. Let's get shopping. bunch of transitional spaces in the showrooms and I'm getting a little sneak preview of some of the brand new furniture pieces. Look, even more spaces transitioning. I'm gonna have to come back soon you guys to check out all of the new displays. Oh, I can't wait. Darling kitchen space, loving this pendant. And again, that deep green that I keep telling you about in kitchens. This one is the Gotor Pema, is what it's called, $44.99 just for that basket pendant. And actually this one might be the full lamp because it is definitely electrical installed. Candles galore, $1.49. Look, now we have a reveal of some of the brand new displays. On second look, this is more of a rework of a display that I saw last time. They're still keeping going with this terracotta color, which is super on trend. If you look at the Benjamin Moore colors of the year, one of their top Top colors is called Potter's Clay, which is almost this identical color. Or actually, it might be closer to that rose color that I showed you in the trends video recently. A very calm and serene space with a huge infusion of this color. They do have a version of linen bedding here. Last time, the only beautiful color was this one, kind of a dusty rose. I'm hoping they might have some other colors in this linen bedding. I'm gonna check it out when we get downstairs. We've been talking about the rounded edge furniture trend, so I'm definitely gonna take a look and see what they've got here at IKEA today. I am I'm noticing this armchair. It's got definitely rounded edges, puffy, fluffy upholstery. This one's called the Ethel Sun 249. And I need another lumbar pillow, like I need a hole in the head, but let's talk about this beautiful play on neutrals. obsessed with how they have hung this portion of a rug using all of the hardware to hang a curtain. They've lit it. Looks like a beautiful, stunning vintage art piece. And it's, this piece of rug is 249. It's called the Silk Board. It's 2 foot 11 inches by 4 foot 11 inches. Patches of old traditional handmade Turkish rugs. I really want to frame more of my travel photography, especially photography from my recent trip to Paris before the pandemic. And I'm loving this beautiful, looks like kind of a natural wood frame. So I'm going to take a look for this downstairs in the frame section. I have this little speaker. It's a portable speaker. It was only $59. It's the Envy. This thing is amazing. The sound is so good, especially for the price. And I love how aesthetic it is. I got this sound of dark color and I put it in my classroom actually, but I think it would be stunning in a home. You should definitely check it out if you're looking for something in this category. And I found this to be way cheaper and better quality than other things that I looked for at other stores. Some of you mentioned that you really liked the sectional sofa that I eliminated from my family room in my makeover video. I will link that video for you here in case you want to check it out. We were able to just recently sell this piece of furniture, but definitely would recommend it. I mean, it did us well for a long time. We happened to get it free secondhand from someone who was trying to get rid of it. We kept it for years. Great sofa. It's called the Kivik. This style is $12.49. Very affordable, especially when you compare it to other similar models from higher end retailers. 
Lots of new signs out. Here's some new ottoman selections. This one's 129. It's called the Upland. It's like it's got a very subtle pattern. Not really my style. I probably would go for something more like this. I don't usually love to decorate with color, but this Harlanda is 165. And I really like the sort of rounded edges it's got. If you're looking for a tried and true bookcase, so many styles and color options. The Billy bookcase is a classic. It's been at Ikea forever. And these are two matching bookcases together with a glass door additions. They've really styled it beautifully here with all blue themed items. And then given this look a little bit of symmetry with the plants on either side. These are faux fiddle leaf figs, which I'm not a big fan of the fake plants, but if you like that, they do have them here. If you're living in a small apartment looking for something that will fit the space well, this is a great option called the Valentuna. It's 870. It's really small scale. It's more of a love seat, but it's got some beautiful fabrication options. This is a pale blue with a great little sort of mid-century texture. And then this version might be my absolute favorite because it's that beautiful terracotta color we keep seeing pop up for 2021. I talked about that a lot in my interior design trends 2021 video. I love, love, love this color. This one is also Valentuna. It's the armless version, which is pretty awesome, especially again, small space. Get rid of as much as you can. Armless sofas are a great way to go. This one's only $5.90. Look at all these Valentuna color options. We've got olive green, neutral. Here's that textured blue on this sofa that I just showed you. And maybe you want to walk away from some of these cooler toned palettes. Ooh, even like a faux leather and then a black. I definitely like the green. I think that'd be a cool statement. And then also that terracotta color up here. Oh, she's a beauty. I'm gonna go ahead and say hard no. Too much? Mm, no, especially with that green pillow. It's a lot going on. I could do this one perhaps. This one's Finala. It's $11.99, three-seater, and it's a faux leather, but it actually has quite a beautiful leather texture. I could really see this in a modern space. And if you're into English roll arm, the stock send is definitely one I would recommend. It's got that overall aesthetic, that round rounded edge. And then there's also a chair version. Again, I don't usually like to decorate with much color, but what's nice about this is you can buy different slip covers for it. Same with the sofa. So you can dramatically change it. Too much. This olive green sort of velvet look sofa, it's called Farlov. It's $8.99 and you guys, it is so beautiful in person. I'm just not sure this is doing it justice. The Ikea, I got a bone to pick with you. I cannot figure out this styling. It is bizarre. This pillow with this green dots, they don't go and ugh, it's just kind of killing the vibe. I wish we could just take all those throw pillows away and replace them with something kind of textured, vintage, linen, dingy kind of warm tone colors, Ugh, like a amber interiors moment. Another new tag. I am not a fan of the Marin chair. $2.69, ugh, just feels like it's trying to look like it's from Star Trek, but it's also like an easy chair for your grandfather. I'm just not digging this one. I wouldn't do it in the gray, but here's that Sunday again, that rounded edge armchair, and it's just a unique style. It just feels interesting and different. I know I've shown it before, but I love this cane rocker. This one's the Grona doll, it's $2.49. Unfortunately though, this doesn't make me want to buy it. The hole in this display. Model. <laughs> Hopefully that's not true of all these chairs. Here's Farlov chair version. You can really clearly see the beautiful color of this fabric now. This might be on my list for the future. It is a stunner. I would not think that came from Ikea. It is $4.99, so it's not cheap. Beautiful, and I'm gonna go check and see if it's comfortable. Yeah, I think this one's a winner, you guys. Mm -hmm. Highly recommend. Two thumbs up. Where can I put this in my home? Here's another Ikea piece I have been dying to buy, and I have no idea where to put it right now, but you can bet I'll probably take it home at some point. This one's the Kama Holt. It's a little stool with a little cubby inside. It's very reminiscent of vintage designs from the mid-century modern period, and only $69.
My fiance Travis and I are currently on the hunt for a home. This is definitely in our future. I cannot wait to convert a basement or a garage space into our workshop. These all white kitchens are just feeling cold to me now. Still lovely, but thinking about future kitchen renovation ideas, I think I just wanna layer in more color than this. Get excited for patio styling. They're already starting to show us some ideas for spring. I am not in the market for a sofa, but I cannot stop myself from showing you the great finds. This one's Fanala, $9.99, beautiful fabric. Gotta check this out. It's got almost like a texture to it, but in different lights, it almost takes on a little bit different hue. New side table alert. This one is called Asperot. It's only $59. And look how cute it is. I love the little brass feet. I recently got a new desk for my office, which has of course made me want to redesign the space. And now I'm thinking about an upgrade for my storage piece of furniture. Ideally, I'd love to have something exactly like this, except for about half the width. This is the Stockholm sideboard. I love this line for my kid, of course, because I love that Scandinavian styling. This super functional, beautiful wood forward. I found this beauty. She's $3.99, so definitely still quite expensive. Don't know that I'm ready to spend the money on that today, but I could really see this transforming that space. Love the flat front modern. I believe this one is also Stockholm. You are looking for some modern or sort of Scandi furniture to accent your Japandi styling. This might be the line for you. This Lamar cabinet is also another beautiful piece, definitely more traditional meaning, kind of creamy white. It's got beautiful antique brass, but yet modern hardware, traditional lines. It's a smaller version. It's $2.59, but it's been on back order for quite a while so it's not here today and I don't know if I'll ever be here when this piece is available. Let me know are you having some of those same delivery delays in your location? with a pleated shade. It's got a brass stand. I love the size of the base. It's got weight to it. Feels like a quality piece. Uh, some of the lamps I've had from here in the past have been so flimsy. This one's really sturdy and definitely they're embracing that pleated shade trend. So I might look for some here. You're looking for chairs for a kitchen island, dining space, breakfast snuck. Ikea might be the right place for you. As you can see, if you've never been to one of these stores, there are a million chair options. Every possible design style. Some of the prices are super cheap, $34. There's also some that are multiple hundred. This little gray chair is one of my current favorite offerings. I just love how simply it classic it is. This one's the Um Tung Sum 119 and definitely super cute, sturdy, and beautiful. Great for a breakfast nook perhaps. They've got just about every style of upholstered chair as well a lot of slip covered options. If you're into a mid-century vibe, this sort of mustard version of that chair is also gorgeous. This little terrazzo look table is a brand new piece, but uh, Ikea, I think he might be a little late on this trend. I think terrazzo might have had its day and might be done. I'm loving this wood forward, beautiful bench. It's the Skogsta, $79. I think it's for a dining table, but actually it'd be really pretty at the foot of a bed. And I love that wood grain. I am loving this green with the veined marble. Gorgeous touch, Ikea, way to stay on trend. In my trends for 2021 video, I talked about the death of white subway tile. Doesn't mean you can't have white tile. This is a great example of a different shape of tile that you can use to give that same look, but just a little bit different than every other kitchen. If you're looking to up your home office game this year, there are a lot of definitely affordable and comfortable options that are also beautiful. This first one is Longfall. 
I think that's how you say that. $1.99. Obviously, you can see it's got an armed version and an armed version without arms. Lots of different colors. It's a swivel chair. It can also go on casters. And I really love this sort of sea foam with white combo. Very modern. Also, moving up here, a couple more versions. Here's another long fall option. Uh, that sort of tannish gray, beige, white base. That version is $1.59 on the right. This dusty rose. This one's hot fall. <laughs> $2.29, a little bit of curvature to the base, and a really beautiful and modern fabric. And if you've got a darker, moodier vibe, this is obviously a darker version. Sort of the heathered navy with black arms and base. Also super chic, beautiful, and ergonomic. Look how they've set this up so it looks like you're in like a third floor apartment. It actually kind of feels like apartments I've had in Seattle. And it makes me wonder if that picture was actually taken here. Probably not, but definitely kind of gives you that vibe that we're in an upstairs apartment. I kind of love that. Way to go, Ikea stylist. And when we actually go out here, you guys look, it's set up like a little balcony. So they've showed you how to set up this little plant stand, table and chair for your morning coffee, <laughs> a little rug to make it a little cozier and then of course some more plant area over here twinkle lights doesn't it kind of feel like we're on a balcony right now Tags to a bed in action, definitely a bit more floral and girly than I would go with in my design, but I do like the lines of that sort of vintage inspired metal bed frame. And only $1.99 I think is a pretty incredible deal, so I might definitely continue to think about it until they restock it. I also kind of like this upholstered style, but I don't like how low the headboard is. You might enjoy this though if you're looking for an upholstered set. This one's Hagwa, Hag Hagwa, and it's $1.79. Hemness is just a little bit too like Frank Lloyd Wright traditional for me. If you're into more traditional lines, this kind of reminds me of something you might find at Pottery Barn. This one is the Hasselvika and it is on sale for $4.49. I definitely would not recommend buying a matching dresser and bed set. I uh, always recommend looking for a set that coordinates rather than matches. They're now offering a ton of different mattresses in addition to bed frames and bedding. So definitely a place to check out if you're looking for something affordable. I have no experience with any of these mattresses myself, but you might check it out. Ikea makes great pillows. Maybe they make great mattresses. Here's another new bed frame. This one is the Vod. Heim 359 and it definitely has that sort of rounded edge feature that is very popular right now. Talk about new ideas in tile, that funky pattern tile is coming back. I may have just changed my mind. This bed frame is a stunner. I am loving these sort of curved edges. Love how it curves around the corners here, almost like a wing back chair, but modern. Love the lights attached. So beautiful. This is the Twoford upholstered bed frame, $4.99. So beautiful. This is like a slate blue kind of a color. It's definitely got a gray tint to it. Oh, and I'm loving it with this beautiful rug. I am looking for a rug for our bedroom. I wonder if this might might be the good option. In case you guys are wondering about today's outfit, I am wearing this, gosh, almost vintage at this point, Banana Republic little 60s style jacket with a little Peter Pan collar and oversized buttons. I've had this forever. I think this was a 2004 line. <laughs> this is a beautiful silk blouse, Madewell, Madewell jeans, 10 inch high rise skinnies. I've got my Rebecca Minkoff sort of Chanel inspired bag and then I love these little flat loafers. I can't think of the brand right now, but they came from Nordstrom Rack. I'm walking through the kids section because I don't have kids, but tiny cute beds sure make me think about it more. 
wait, stop, hold the video right here. I have way too much fantastic footage from this trip to Ikea. So I'm gonna put this on pause. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you love videos like this, hit that notification bell too, because next week I'm gonna share the entire walkthrough of the downstairs, the marketplace, the rest of the Ikea store, all the way to the checkout line, and you're not gonna want to miss it. I hope you leave today with some great ideas for things you can look in your next shopping trip. Until next time, I challenge you to find one meaningful change you can make in your space this week, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, my friends.